all the members have a copy of the budget? meeting of the Appropriations Committee to order and Chairman Perkle if you'll hit your button you did such a great job kicking us off this morning I'd love for you to open us up in a follow-up introduction prayer how about that yes sir mr. chairman pray with me if you will dear Heavenly Father Lord I do thank you so much for the blessings that we have of the day Lord, I pray for each member here. Uh, Lord, I pray a hedge of protection around their families as they're away. Lord, I pray that you'll grant us wisdom uh, as we try our best to be good stewards of that which you've given us. And this we ask in your name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Chairman Perkle. Members, before we get started on our business, I just want to say thank you to all of you for the time you put in on the 24 budget. We met before the 23 was totally finished, and the last few days have been long for many of us, and I just want to thank you for the time you put in. That being said, I'm going to turn it over to our secretary and let him take over the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the subcommittees this morning has had, had under consideration each of the, sub, the uh, subcommittee appropriation uh, committees bill, uh, the House Bill uh, 19. And at this point, we'll recognize the uh, chairman of the committee to, um, to present the bill. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Well, good morning. We've been in this room for a while. Started to think I was in a judiciary meeting. If you've been watching since seven, you've heard a number of great initiatives that we're able to include in this version of the budget. But our work is not done. We know that there are some priorities that need additional funding, specifically in behavioral health and law enforcement. We'll continue working with our partners in the Senate and with the governor to keep the momentum going and build upon the items funded in the House budget. A few of the highlights are $26.7 million in employee retirement system to provide an annual one-time benefit check. You know, we just did that in the amended, and this puts, puts that money as a line item for us to address, hopefully, every year. As you heard in the subcommittees this morning, the House targets additional salary enhancements in DBHDD, forestry, and driver services to address retention in high turnover areas and hard-to-staff positions. The House was able to add $13. million in targeted salary adjustments to state law enforcement officers across agencies. This $2,000 pay raise is in addition to the $2,000 proposed by the Governor. This salary adjustment is intended to increase competitiveness with surrounding states and other law enforcement agencies, and it's to acknowledge the increasing call to duty of our law enforcement. Continuing along the lines of public safety, we've added $1.25 million for a new State Patrol satellite post in the Buckhead area of the City of Atlanta to address crime and promote a faster incident response in the north side of Atlanta. $2.7 million for a new cold case specialty unit in the GBI. $1.4 million for 21 additional positions in the Forensic Science Service Division of GBI to address the backlog of the firearm, chemistry, and toxicology evidence needs processing. To support the victims of crime, the House includes $2.5 million for sexual assault nurse examiner positions at each of the 28 
sexual assault centers across the state and $4.5 million to correct a structural problem in the Crime Victims Emergency Fund to provide state funding for the positions and operating expenses to administer this fund, thus freeing up fees collected to help cover expenses for victims of violent crime. You'll recall that t just two long days ago, the House and Senate agreed to an additional $8 million in this fund for the amended 23 budget. In economic development, we added $1.5 million in the House budget for the Department of Agriculture to continue the implementation of the Raw Dairy Act, implement funding for the State Agricultural Response Team, who are charged with responding to animal disease outbreaks like avian flu, and provide staffing and operations to administer and enforce soil amendment rules. We added one and a half million dollars in the forestry program for salary enhancement for foresters. In education, the FY24 budget fully funds the QBE formula, totaling $13.1 billion in state funds. That's the most state funds ever funded to K through 12 education. And this is a big one. We funding $6.3 million in the Department of Education to cover the cost of breakfast and lunch for reduced price students and this is expected to provide free breakfast for 32,000 children and free lunch for 64,000 children. And we added an additional $262,000 for communities and schools to recognize the additional county participation and peer affiliate increase. In general government, the House includes $550,000 for a, date, a data plan contract for poll pads for the Secretary of State's Office for elections, as well as $584,055 to establish the State Election Board as a separate program within the agency, including funding for two additional investigators. To address licensure and complaint volume, the budget also includes $191,915 for two analysts and a full-time educator for the Georgia Board of Nursing, as well as $308,959 to provide five additional analysts to help with other licensing boards. The Department of Driver Services receives over $2.3 million to target high turnover at certain customer service centers. In health, numerous Medicaid rate increases are included in the House budget, further supporting health care providers. These include additional support for providers of primary care and OBGYN, home and community-based services, EMS, speech, audiology, and therapy that totals $35 million. The House budget also includes $2.8 million in Medicaid to provide adult coverage for dental services. Only emergency services are currently covered. The House provides substantial additional support for graduate medical education in Georgia including a total of $5.2 million for residencies and fellowships, $3.1 million for hospitals starting up new residency programs, and $3.4 million to support loan repayment for providers practicing in rural areas and educating future providers. In higher ed, we added $8.2 million to TCSG to implement a one-year one of a three-year plan to address the additional funding needs for the high cost programs of aviation, CDL, and nursing. In lottery, the House supports the integrity of the Zell Miller Scholars. We made an extremely difficult decision more than 10 years ago to differentiate between the award levels. Students who've been working towards the Zell Scholarship deserve to have their hard work acknowledged in a higher payment. 
The House budget provides the HOPE scholarship at 95% of the Zell amount rather than the full 100% recommended by the governor. In doing so, the House was able to address two additional needs not contemplated in the governor's budget. The House version provides an adjustment to the private Hope Zell Scholarship, bringing the award to $3,100 for Zell Scholars and making the Hope Private Scholarship 95% of the Zell Private Award. The House budget also redirects $11.9 million in lottery funds to address the increased costs in funding the employer share for state health benefit plan for public pre-K teachers. As a result of increased employer contribution implemented in January of this year to shore up the plan, school systems that provide pre-K will receive an increase in their state health benefit billings for pre-K teachers without an associated appropriation to cover that expense. This House version provides funding toward that expense. Human Services. Building on the momentum of the last budget cycle of adding 513 new now comp waivers for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, the House annualizes those waiver slots, agrees with the governor's recommendation to add 250 waivers in FY24, and adds 125 slots and administrative support for a total of 375 new waivers in 24 and a total increase in funding of $19 million. The House builds upon the Governor's recommendation and provides $29 million to support the establishment of behavioral health crisis centers in Augusta, Dublin, Fulton County, and Rome. $10.1 million is provided to increase salaries for state psychiatric hospital staff to bring them closer to market salary. Last year we made a huge investment in staff and we know that that's translated into the department being able to fill and retain critical positions to bring beds back online. This adds to that momentum. We also acknowledge the need to fund the provider rate study and look forward to working with the governor and the Senate to develop a plan and funding for implementation. And in the transportation budget. $20.1 million is included for local maintenance and improvement grants, LMIG, to phase in the percent of motor fuel funds appropriated to LMIG from 10% to 15% over a five-year period. LMIG is currently funded at $200 million, and this could increase to $300 million in the next few years to address maintenance on local roads. In closing, again, I want to thank all the subcommittees and their chairman, and especially the House Budget and Research Office and Christine Murdoch, their director. They worked hard into the wee hours of the morning for several nights and all weekend to bring this to you. We looked at many needs and unfortunately, we can't fill them all. But I look forward to working with the governor and the Senate on other possibilities to get them funded. Mr. Secretary, I am available for questions. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for uh, explanation of a uh, great 24 budget and all the work that has been put into that with you and the subcommittee chairs and members of the committee. Uh, are there any questions from members of the committee at this time? Mr. Dubnik, no questions. I recognize you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I move that House Bill 19 do pass by committee substitute. We have a motion to second that House Bill 19 do pass by committee substitute. Uh, is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed like sign? Motion carries. The budget has been adopted by the full committee. You can adjourn. Any other comments, Mr. Chairman? We are adjourned.